Hello, I'm here with uh, Jade Ingham. Uh, Jade is the former uh, national president of the CFMEU, as well as the, uh, I guess you're assistant secretary of the Queensland Northern Territory. That's range. right, yeah, used to be. Yeah, no, until not long ago, <laughs> and we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but Jade's down here in uh, Nam today uh, and had a bit of a meeting with uh, with some some unions. Do you want to do you want to talk me through that? Yeah. So today we had a, um, a meeting of primarily building industry unions, but mm -hmm. there were some other unions here as well. And we discussed, um, I guess, you know, some direction for um, what's next mm -hmm. for for unions like ours and the path forward for mm -hmm. industrial unions in mm -hmm. this country. Our relationship with the peak body. Yeah. Um, the prospect of potentially setting up a new peak body, yeah. one that showed solidarity with each other and represented workers rather than politicians. Nice. So, you know, yeah. they've got a fair discussion. Yeah. Um, our relationships with politicians, yeah. um, you know, not just with the one political party, like, mm -hmm. like many unions have only got a relationship with one political party. So we've discussed all of these things and yeah. um, it was an historical occasion. It's the first time that yeah. we've had a national building trades group of unions yeah. Um, and it wasn't just building trades, but it was the first time we've had a meeting like this. Uh, mm. It's exciting. Um, out of this uh, act of treachery from yeah. the Labor Party, yeah. um, we can potentially build something that, for the future, that yeah. that truly represents the interests of the working class. I just want to ask you, what what was the vibe in the room? How did everyone feel about, particularly, uh, the Labor Party and the ACTU? There's a widely held feeling of betrayal, mm -hmm. um, given that. Many of us have spent countless hours, mm. decades in fact, some mm. of us, um, fighting to ensure that the party was supposed to represent us mm. could win government, be in a position to yeah. um, remove legislative restrictions yeah. against workers um, and also assist to you know, grow the living standards for, yeah. for the working class. I mean, they're supposed to be the party of, of the working class. Yeah. Um, they haven't been for some time. I mean, personally, I've been frustrated. And, yeah. Um, you know, many of our members have been as well, but the mood in the room today was was one of betrayal, but also one of determination to yeah, cool. to use this as an opportunity. You know, we can reset and we can have a recalibration. Yeah. Um, you know, of at least part of the uh, the labour movement to ensure that we we build something for the future that cannot be uh, yeah. uh, torn apart like this this latest act. It's a shame that that my union's in the middle of this. I mean, yeah. if it was another union, we'd be first to support them. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what industry they worked in, um, yeah, exactly. It's blue collar, white position. collar. I mean, it, yeah. You know, the, these acts of treachery, you know, uh, need to be resisted. Yeah. Um, no matter who they happen to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's touch one, touch all. It's pretty. It's pretty basic.